Hi, welcome to The Carpenter Shop. I'm glad that you joined me. Um, and I hope that this is time that is not wasted for you. Over these next couple of minutes, I want to share with you some truths about growing in your faith and what that might look like. Psalm 90 verse 12 says this, Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. There is a little booklet that um, you have probably never re read, and it was called Alarm to the Unconverted. It was written by Joseph Aline, and you may not know him. He died in 1668. And although many people don't recognize the title, it has left its mark in Christian history as a Puritan classic. Joseph was a serious young man who felt that his commitment to Christ required the wise use of his time, and he wanted to use every moment in one way or another for the Lord. As a student, he often neglected his friends for his studies. He said it this way, It's better they should wonder at my rudeness than I should, show, than I should lose my time. For only a few will notice the rudeness, but many will feel my loss of time. That really is a big statement. There was a sense of urgency about what he was doing, and he wanted to make sure he didn't waste a minute. As a minister, Joseph would later rise at four in the morning, pray and study his Bible until eight. He spent his afternoons calling on the unconverted. He spent his afternoons doing the work of ministry. And at the beginning of the week, he would remark, another week is now before us, let us spend this week for God. And each morning he would say, now let us live this one day of this one week very, very well. He died at age 34. If you heard a story, you'd say that's because he got up too early and never slept. Well, that's not why he died. But he accomplished a great deal for Christ in his 34 years. Uh, some said during that era, more than people twice his age. I don't know how you compare that. But the point is simply this. Are you being a good steward of your time? Are you using the time that God has so graciously given you as a gift to accomplish the things that He wants you to accomplish in your life? If so, then good. Use your time wisely. If not, learn first to recognize that the gift that God gives you is a gift of time. And at every minute he gives you is for using. And do your best and use it wisely. I promise you, Jesus used those moments in the carpenter shop to develop wisdom and answer questions that would impact the rest of his earthly life and his ministry. Even today, God has some things that he wants to teach you to do if you'll only give him the time that he gave you and listen. I look forward to joining you next time here in the carpenter shop.